Ah, in-game maps. Some of the most overlooked and some of the most important and vital components to any large video game. It is no secret that the larger a video game is, the more crucial it becomes to have a proper map for that game, for the overworld of that game. And Genshin is no exception. In fact, Genshin is one of the largest games in the entire world, so having a proper, really well-made map is something that is almost a requirement for the game to function. And for the most part, Genshin's map is actually good. There are very few complaints that I have, and most of them are going to be addressed in this video. So what I want to talk about in this video is specifically two locations in Genshin right now. And I will explain why some aspects of Genshin's uh, current design in terms of its map are short-sighted and not looking into the future. So right now you have the overworld. There are three areas in Genshin, three primary maps. I honestly do not want to discuss the Serene Teapot because it's just its own thing. So if we consider the open, playable open world of uh, Genshin, we have three primary areas. There is the whole open world where you actually play the game, which you can see over here. And then we can open the menu and access two different areas or two different maps, which are the Chasm, Underground, and Enkanobia. So right now, uh, what I'm doing is something that is really simple. I'm simply just opening the map, opening the, I guess, uh, area list, and then clicking on Enkanomia and the uh, Chasm in order to access them. But moving forward into the future, more nations are going to be added into the game. More areas are going to be added into the game. And within those areas, we're almost definitely getting sub-areas. In fact, in Fontaine, uh, assuming we get... Even if we don't get Celestia in Fontaine, eventually Celestia is going to be a playable uh, location in the game. And Celestia itself is going to be located somewhere in the sky. In other words, it's not, it's not going to be within the map itself. So, realistically speaking, it's going to have its own section similar to Enkanomia and the, and the Underground of the Chasm. So, here's what I'm getting at. If we keep this up, or if Hoyleverse keeps this up, this list is going to become enormous by the, by the time we get to Conria. And God knows, because Conria is underground. It's somewhere... Conria is somewhere beneath, like, this area over here. And God knows what Conria is going to look like if the current open world of Genshin has some... Uh, some areas where a lot of players have major complaints in terms of uh, underground map layout, which right now is non-existent in the game itself. You will notice that the... Uh, map of Genshin on the website has a feature that allows you to see the underground of Sumeru. Now, right now, this is only limited to Sumeru. Other other nations do not have this. But I want to mention that while this is cool, and while, yes, if we do get this in uh, Genshin itself, this is nice. I do not mind it. It is not the topic of my video. I honestly do not care about it that much because I... I rarely struggle in exploring these areas. I know that they look a little bit complex, but... Honestly, when you play these areas enough, you get used to them. I am not really making this video for this. It would be nice if we can have it, but I personally don't care. What I really want to talk about is the future of maps like uh, Enkanomia and the Chasm. And I believe that Hoyoverse should implement what is available in, uh, in their online website map into Genshin Impact. You could have, you could take Enkanomia and overlay the underground map of Enkanomia beneath Watatsumi and then do the exact same thing and overlay the underground of the chasm beneath the overworld of the chasm. We can see something similar in Elden Ring where if we look at the map of Elden Ring, you will see over here, let me open the map. There's the overworld of Elden Ring, which you can see. And then when I press the Y button on my keyboard, obviously, if you're using different controllers, it's going to be different buttons, but that's a different... It doesn't really matter. You will see that the underground maps are overlaid beneath the uh, overworld ones. And this is such a convenient feature. If we can have Enkanomia and the Chasm and any, any future uh, underground or, like, heavenly locations be uh, systematically integrated into the map like this, it would make exploration and it would make like quality of life in terms of uh, navigating the map much, much better. And I know that this does not seem like a big deal right now, but that, remember, it's not a big deal right now because the game is not as big as its full potential. Like later in the game, we're going to have Fontaine. Fontaine is probably going to have sub-areas. 
Natlen. Natlen is probably going to have sub-areas. Snezhnaya is the largest nation in terms of floor, so that uh, that one is probably going to have like seven sub-nations. And yeah, moving forward into the game, we're also going to have Tanria and Celestia, who by their own rights are probably also going to have sub-maps of their own. So instead of having, having a uh, massive list of maps that you have to scroll to, in the late game in order to reach a specific area, you can simply press a single button, like the Y button, for example, which could function for the map of Genshin, and then navigate to the area that you want to go to from the overworld. Even, even let's say they add Celestia, and then with Celestia they add an entire heavenly realm. Even then, you could simply press the Y button to switch between the heavenly realm, the abyssal realm. Genshin, in terms of floor right now, has a maximum of six realms, and having to switch between six realms is significantly better than having to scroll through a list of like 100 locations, trust me. If Hoyoverse can implement this and have like the chasm overlaid uh, beneath the overworld of the chasm, that would not only make the navigation of the map much simpler, but then they can also keep the list. Elden Ring does not get rid of the list. Elden Ring also has a list. If you, uh, I believe it's the F button, yeah. If we check here, there is a list of areas. We can navigate through each areas. And then we can teleport to whichever area we want to go to. It's that simple. Like, they could, Genshin Impact could keep the list, but at the same time, they can also uh, map and the, map all of the maps on top of each other. Or, sorry, overlay them on top of each other. What makes this even more disappointing is that Hoyoverse can do this. They can do this anytime they want. This is not something that is restricting their game development time. I'm not even joking. I think like five senior developers could do this with like maybe two interns. Because let me tell you something. Let's say uh, someone is going to argue and tell me, no, Hoyoverse cannot do this. It's going to take a lot of their time. This is a multi-billion dollar company. And what makes this even worse is that in Honkai Star Rail, their new game, they have already implemented exactly what I'm talking about in Honkai Star Rail. You have the overworld map, or it's not really overworld and underworld, but here's the thing. This is the exact same concept I'm talking about. You have one elevation, and then you have the other elevation. One elevation, the other elevation. And this is not the only area in Honkai Star Rail where this is available. You can go to, uh, let's for example go here, and then we can go to the base, uh, let's say storage zone, and then there are three areas. Look, one, two, three. And for each elevation, you can select like which map you want, and then teleport to that location. And Genshin can pretty much do the exact same thing that Honka, Star Rail, and Elden Ring do. There is nothing stopping them. In fact, they already have all the resources necessary. They have the overworld map, really well-made overworld map too. And then they have the chasm map, it's fully well, it's fully made, fully rendered. They have Enkanomia, again, fully made, fully rendered. You just take those two, and then you map them where their geographic locations are supposed to be. And with a press of a single button, you switch between them instead of having to... In, again, right now it doesn't look that bad, but in the future this list is going to become enormous. The reason I'm not arguing, I'm like not advocating for the Sumeru subregions is because those subregions are, they're not really subregions. They're more like part of the overworld except a different elevation. They're not entirely new maps like Enkonomia and the Chasm are because Enkonomia and the Chasm are completely different maps. Which is why earlier I was uh, saying that I do not really care if these areas get mapped on. Obviously, if they do, that's cool. Quality of life, people who care, they're gonna get it. Any future, un like, separate map locations should be mapped on top of uh, the overworld map itself. And not only would this be good for explore, like ease of exploration, it's also a nice quality of life because uh, then players can, like, it's super, mentally speaking, it's super easy for someone to understand. Yeah, so this is the chasm. I press a different, like I press the Y button, like similar to what Elden Ring does, and then it switches to the underground of the chasm. It's that simple. Also, something else that I need to mention is some uh, features of the online map need to be implemented into the end game map. There are certain features, like for example, there is the enemy feature in the online map that shows you the location of every single enemy in the entire world that you select. For example, if we're looking for the uh, Geo apps, you can see the location of every single Geovishap in the world, and then you can go and uh, hunt them and collect their materials accordingly. At the moment, the best uh, alternative that we have in the game, or the best option that we have in the game, is the Adventurer's Handbook, where you can go to enemies and then search for the enemy you want. 
but not only does this have a growing list that will keep growing as we can see this is the exact same issue that i was talking about uh with the map list by the way eventually the map list is going to be full of areas it's going to look like this where you endlessly scroll uh, across areas so uh the map or it, the game in general needs to adjust the enemy feature and uh make it much easier to not only find the enemies that you want but also make it so that you actually can find every single enemy on the map because for some reason if you select for example any enemy that you want let's say we want the mirror maidens and then we press navigate not only does it show us one mirror maiden at a time but it also skips which i don't know why this is the case it skips some of the mirror maidens across the world it only shows you a limited amount this is such a weird limitation that i do not know why it even exists again hoyaverse is a multi-billion dollar company they they can do all of these things in the blink of an eye if they want so it is a little bit weird that they do not add such simple quality of life changes this is no longer this is not the 2011 mihoyo with three broke college students trying to make something out of nothing where when they released fly me to the moon with kiana kaslana by the way kiana is arguably one of the greatest like one of the greatest video game characters of our modern era i will probably make a video about her in the future just a separate video about her that being said back to the main topic hoyoverse are no longer in the 2000 level and fly me to the moon era they are right now dude these guys have a studio two hours from where i live they are a video game empire but alas you guys let me know do you think my suggestions are useless do you think uh do you think they are good let me know down in the comments uh, and uh, for now, take care. I'll probably be making a video about El Haytham since his banner is approaching soon. Uh, El Haytham and maybe Kazuha as well. But take care. I'll see you guys in the next time.